Toyota chaps. Now, which Mac should you buy in 2018? We're talking laptops here. Which one should you buy right now? Well, the answer is none. They are all gonna be refreshed. So I would hold off on buying a Mac laptop. If you have to buy one, well, you have to buy one. That's fine to do that. First, I'm just gonna go through the differences between the Mac laptops, which one would suit you, and then I'm gonna go into why you should not buy now and what are the expected upgrades. And some of the upgrades with these laptops are really big. Now, first of all, the MacBook. Now, the MacBook here is a beautiful device. It has good battery life, a killer display. The keyboard is, um, you'll love it or you'll hate it. But this laptop here is just for browsing the web, watching content. It's not a content creation device, super thin and light but do not get this if you want a video edit or use Photoshop and stuff like that. It really is just a content consumption device. Now this is due a refresh of course, and currently it has the Y processors or, or it actually says in the specs you can get i5 and i7. They are not real i5 and i7s. They're actually just the new versions of the Core M processors. Very underpowered unit but it's fine for just web surfing and stuff like that, but it's gonna be upgraded. They may put eight generation new parts in here, which will be a big game changer, but just wait and see. Definitely do not buy now. The MacBook Air, now this thing here, it looks dated. It's Apple's most affordable laptop, but it's actually a very capable computer. It's actually better than the MacBook in terms of power. It actually uses real proper i5 and i7s. Yes, they're older ones, but they are miles ahead of those Core M and Core Y processors used on the MacBook. It's very capable, it does look dated. Look at those massive bezels there. This is due an upgrade as well. A lot of people are saying this is gonna get an upgrade, it may not. This is a laptop that maybe you could buy now because even if they do refresh it, I don't expect they're gonna have a massive change because it is the budget MacBook. So whatever changes they do, I, I doubt they'll put like quad cores in here or something like that. They may upgrade the display. That would be nice. It'd be nice to get rid of those bezels, but this is a much more capable computer than the MacBook. You can do some video editing on this. You can do some Photoshop, stuff like that. Actually, I know people that use this for their Lightroom catalog. It's not the best for those sort of things, but it can get it done. Not like the MacBook, which is very underpowered compared to this. I think this is a better computer, even though it's nowhere near as sexy. The battery life is better actually on this MacBook. It does look dated, but it has a better keyboard. And if you can get over those thick bezels and dated sort of look, it is a better laptop than the MacBook. But you might want to hold off to see if this is going to get upgraded as well. Now, when it comes to the MacBook Pros, these are their supposed professional laptops. So these ones have a lot more power than both the MacBook and the MacBook Air. We'll start off with the 13 inch. The 13 inch is going to get a big upgrade. We're going to go from dual cores to quad cores. Massive night and day upgrade. So do not get the MacBook Pro. 13 inch. Trust me on that. It's going to be 40, 50% faster than the new one. It's going to have the same display, probably the same keyboard. I doubt they're going to change the input ports. My favorite is the 13 inch without touch. The non touch bar version has a 15 watt part. You can edit video on these, no problems. I know people that run their YouTube channels off 13 inch MacBook Pros and um, they are perfectly fine for doing video editing, stuff like that. They are much more powerful than MacBook and the MacBook Air, but do not buy this now. It's going to have a big processor upgrade to quad core processors. So definitely, definitely wait for that. And this is for someone that has more professional needs like video editing, Photoshop, you know, more powerful tasks. This is what you buy. You don't buy a MacBook Air or MacBook, you buy a MacBook Pro. Now there is also a MacBook Pro 15 inch which is what I'm currently actually using now to record this. This is actually the Greeks MacBook Pro 15 inch. Now they're gonna have a big refresh too. And you may still wanna buy this because yes, it should get six core processors and an upgrade in graphics, but it's not gonna be a 50% upgrade like the MacBook Pro 13 inches. It'll be probably 20, 25% upgrade with the extra two cores and the graphics should be better as well. Now they may go down the sort of like APU route where you would have like Intel processor combined with the Vega chip, which would make it super powerful, especially in the graphics department. It would be more powerful than a GTX 1050 with that combination of Intel CPU and AMD Vega graphics. But let's hope they go to the six core 
and add new Vega graphics rather than doing the APU because we do want the extra two cores rather than having a quad core and the Vega combined together. So I could still say, look, if you really needed the 15 inch now, yes, get it. But remember, you're going to have a big upgrade in terms of graphics and probably processor there. You're probably going to have six cores and much more powerful Vega graphics. Now, this laptop is for the power user, the professional that needs to use Final Cut Pro, needs to do After Effects and heavy duty Photoshop and stuff like that. You need this. This 15 inch is the one you need because you get the graphics card and you get the powerful quad cores. But if you get my drift, do not buy these now. I'd wait till WWDC, which is in June. They all should have a refresh then. And for me personally, I'm really looking forward to what they do with this 15 inch MacBook Pro. Hopefully we do get those hex core processors and some more powerful Vega graphics there. And that would make this a killer laptop. So if you're new around here, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe if you like this content and it's helpful to you. And if you're just interested in laptops in general, you're in the right place. So there you have it. Do not buy now. Wait for the refreshes. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and until next time, cheerio.